Hi there, and welcome to the first community update video. My name is Jan de Vries. And my name is Melvin. In these videos, we'll cover everything from the latest product updates to events and interesting things that are happening in the community. Let's get started. Two months ago, we released Atlas UI, and with it, some really cool features. For example, next to the already extensive building blocks library, you can now create building blocks in a desktop modeler. This is great for when you want to share your pre-built components within your company or even with the community by including them into modules or apps. So, show us what you got and start creating these building blocks now. We've also added a couple of new features to the web modeler. The first is product guidance that will help new users get familiar with app development. You can take your first steps in creating pages, domain models and microflows with this handy step-by-step -step guide. Don't know how to complete a step or just want to see the result? No problem. Just click do it for me and the step will be completed for you. I think this is a really cool way to help new users get started with Mendix without going into a full-fledged 4-hour course. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. The Microflow Editor in the Web Modeler has a new activity. You can now create an exclusive split based on enumerations. This adds a lot of opportunities for setting up your app logic and makes your app more powerful in the process. Next to that, we added merge, show message, close page, and show homepage activities. I'm also really excited to share some cool news about the MVP program. We just elected two new MVPs, uh, René van Hofwegen, who works at Men Systems, and Ivo Sturm from First Consulting. And uh, I just had an interview this morning with Ivo, uh, so let's show a little clip of that. How did you go from theoretical physics to Mendix development? It was quite natural that when I started working at First Consulting, I just rolled into the technical part. And once we grew, um, yeah, I became actually more experienced and now I'm one of the most experienced web developers that First Consulting has. What do you think of our new MVPs? Let us know in the comments. To learn more about the latest product updates and features, check out the release blogs at mendix.com blogs. Last month, we hosted the Mendix Meetup in Rotterdam with two presentations from Erik Hedema and Tim van Steenbergen. Erik Hedema showed us the latest updates for Atlas UI and demoed us how to create building blocks in the desktop model. Tim explained why he thinks it's important to use unit testing in all of your projects. What do you think about unit testing? Leave a comment below. Do you want to join a meetup? This month, we're organizing two, one in London and one in Denver. Go to developers.mendix.com and sign up. We also hosted a community webinar this month where senior UX designer Willem Gorisse explained how to boost your UX adoption in your company by using design systems. Now, later this month, we're hosting another community webinar called Ask the Expert, hosting three MVPs, Mark Lahane, Mike Kumpf, and Nolan Ramsey, where you can ask them anything you want. So go to learn.mendix.com and sign up for the webinar. See you there. So we love seeing developers in the community create stuff. So let's highlight some of the cool things they've done this month. Jelle Dekker from Bizomate published the Data Grid Context Menu widget last December, already got nine five-star reviews and 70 downloads. The widget replaces the browser context menu with the actions from the toolbar when the user right-clicks on the Data Grid content row. Nice work, Jelle. Palmos from Time Series created a detailed how-to video about natively consuming a REST service with Mendix. You can watch the video by going to the consumed REST service documentation on docs.mendix.com. We've also added a handy link to the description below. So that's it for this community update video. Let us know what you think about the video, what we discussed, and what you'd like to see in the next video. Please add your comments below. Thank you for watching and see you at the next Mendix community update.